Aaron Hill did get some revenge. The lefty removed the inform Harris for 49 before Michael Klinger followed, also just short of a half century. In the air over Cara, there's a fielder getting under it, and what a good catch in the deep. Nathan Reed takes an absolute. Has set 190 to win. That one he's got, but not all the way. Will he be caught? An excellent dive from Maxwell. Maxwell offered some rare resistance. And that's gone all the way. Maxwell strikes. First six of the innings, Glenn Maxwell. Good boundaries at Eddie had. Saw McDonald do it one-handed. Will it go all the way? It will. That's the first six of the night. Three balls, and the pair took to Mitch Marsh. 26 for his first two overs. Finchner had a warm welcome for Paul Collingwood back to the MCG. All the way for six. Amazing strike. Captain chalked up a 50 from just 32 balls. McDonald, the placement, beautiful. While Maxwell was making them pay, a hat-trick of sixes off Marcus North's first three deliveries. Oh, that's a monster from Maxwell. Maxwell, late hitting from Reardon and Razak saw the Renegades finish at three for 188. Tie, does it go all the way? Big strike to finish off the Renegades inning. McDonald got his revenge, but the openers had put on 95 inside the first 10 overs. He fell for 19. The Scorchers needed 33 from the last four overs. Jand Aaron Finch teed off. Oh, short. Tell you what, he's picked it off his nostrils. And he's got a boundary for it. The pair smashed 81 off their first 10 overs to set up a solid platform for the visitors. He didn't last much longer. It's gone up in the air. Mid on is getting them behind it and it's taken. The Thunder were cruising and needed just 46 with seven overs remaining. The three quick wickets gave the Renegades hope. Harwood's first, the most important of the match. Nathan Reardon's getting under it, takes another catch and that is a big blow for the Renegades. Finally found his radar to get the visitors home. And he's bowling. The Renegades win a thriller here at ANZ. Adam Curley, Fox Sports News. Change of pace from Shahid Afridi ended his night on 29, while Michael Lum wasted yet another start on 25. Too far across the wicket and he can't believe it. Gates turning to Shane Harwood to break a 63-run stand. Very good change of bowling. 162, the home team's first six came in Brett Lee's opening over. Ten rows back, first one of the night to finish. Oh, massive strike. He took Josh Hazelwood deep in his first over two, but after racing to 25, when the required run rate threatened to get out of hand, Andrew McDonald hit Stewie McGill for a couple of sixes in the 11th over and only needed one hand to take Bravo deep. Not even close, that's over the right. Brad Hodge followed the captain's lead with some big hitting of his own. Full toss on leg stuff. But McDonald was the main aggressor, bringing up the 100 partnership and his own half century off one over from his opposing skipper. He's gone downtown. It's another one. It's a 21 off the Smith over. After being 11 off 19 at one stage, he wound up with 60 off 37 as the Renegades won for the first time at Etihad. Brenton Speed, Fox Sports News. Wright was gone for 25 after picking out Shade Afridi. Boom, boom, takes a blinder. Cameron White with another failure, caught off his gloves for one and given out by the third umpire. When Dirk Nannis produced a wicked maiden, the Renegades were back in control. It's out. But Bailey fell for 24. This is that out. Either way, up goes the finger. Afridi with a hat-trick on the one ball. Bailey could have been given out, LBW caught behind or stumped. And he was quickly joined in the stands by his partner in crime. Is it out? Yes, it is. In 62 from 19 overs, things got worse for the Renegades when... Wicket. What a delivery from Dirk Nannis. Placement Aaron Hill came into the attack and claimed Hayden for 28 with the help of a great catch. Beautiful catch from Maxwell. Got a good set of hands. Renegades continued the fight back without him as Shahida Freedy ripped through them. Oh, first ball, thank you very much. Freedy on a hat trick, the little man was pumped, but three wickets in four balls had to suffice. There he is, Shahida Freedy. Luckily for Melbourne, a Freedy was in some sort of mood. Boom, boom. Renegades lost a couple more wickets, but the chase looked safe in the hands of Aaron Finch. One Nathan Horrocks over went for 23. That just got met. And again, back to back. That's even bigger.
No chance of finals action. Aaron Finch and Brad Hodge looked at ease and brought up the 50 in just five overs. There we go. And that's flown for four. The start had the team smiling and they were soon beaming as Finch up the ante. Has he got another one? Is it three sixes? It is. The 25-year-old with his eye in what race to 50 off 28 balls and the century stand was close behind as they went to 10 and over. Hodge then brought up his half ton but wasn't quite as convincing. Top edge and that'll be six as well. Needing 174 for victory, the Hurricanes faced a tough task piercing the Renegades field. And as they tried to lift the tempo, Mark Cosgrove went for just two. Cosgrove backs away and gets bowled. The lefty was soon on his way for 25. Were looking comfortable until Wells found one of the tallest men on the park. Is it gone long enough? There's a man out there. I think that's a great catch on the boundary, right?